We're live. Welcome, Tyler, everybody. You can't say that. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Too, sorry, Tyler. Uh, sorry. Welcome to <laughs> the spin. It is March 27th. Uh, big week. Uh, all kinds of news. The DBE documentary is out. Grace got robbed. We got some blind rankings for you. And then we are going to discuss way too early rankings of who we think is going to qualify out of semifinals to the game. So we're not even to quarterfinals. We will talk about that, uh, give our picks, and uh, see who, which new faces might be showing up. And then we'll wrap it up with more of betting with the boys. I'm here joined with Tyler Watkins from Heat One. Tyler, how are you doing? Pretty good. Uh, and Mr. John Young, JY Barbell. How are uh, how are things going on the the barbell side? Great, more PRs. everything is great. Yeah, I think um, I got two girls. Who, I got three girls who should make a run at the age group semifinals this year. Nice, so that's nice. exciting. And one and one that should make the games Ooh. now. So we'll see. That'd be good. Yeah. Uh, Wad Zombie, I'm here for the live. The Daniel Brandon documentary can wait. What time did that start airing? Uh, five minutes before we went live. Oh, so okay. We so, are head to head uh, with uh, the because well, we've seen it already. We might have. What are you talking about? We might have. Uh, uh, <laughs> Blueprint <laughs> Health and Fitness. Us, uh, thank you, uh, new member. Uh, appreciate the support. Uh, Melanie, don't go. Oh, t back to John. Is she? Uh, Oh, she's a well. barbell member. Her garage, she's renovating her garage, um, mm -hmm. new houses, stuff like that. So she doesn't have a place to lift right now. But that's what that's about. Yep. Uh, all right. Mean for time is here. So appreciate it. John's hey. mic, a little bit loud. John hey, is always Brian. loud. Let's see. No, we're good. John will be fine. All right. Um, we're going to talk about your, your blatant bullying this week. Mine? Yes. Oh. Who did spin bully? Me. <laughs> did, you, did, did you get your feelings hurt? He's being mean to me, Tyler. Did, did you get your feelings I hurt? I think we need to define elite. I think that's what oh, we need to define. Oh, that. <laughs> that. Because if, if, if elite's like making your living on this CrossFit stuff, I think I kind of classify as that. But That's true. You know what you I mean? You are so, a class of elite. Yeah. Athlete probably <laughs> it's the questionable Let's part. See. No, it came out of nowhere, too. I did nothing to nobody. Elite analyst. Grab that that IG tag. I like the see. senior analyst. It makes me senior feel analyst. it makes me feel old, older than I am. Uh we'll have to try to pull that up here in a bit, but I cannot get it at this moment. Um all right, first things first, some viewer comments. Um, maybe we'll allude to maybe some of the bullying uh, here in a minute. Boo. Uh, <laughs> first, first uh, at Naz Scott, um, Rebecca's elbows were more locked out than John's. I disagree. I think they were about the same, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that was not bullying by me. Uh, next one at Emma Steven. Colton gave it all, and he is such an inspiration for mortals who are doing their first open like me. He gave a show, and we came for it. Speaking of a show, did you guys catch Coffee Pods and Wads this afternoon? Are you are you able to pull it up? I can pull up that. Yes. Oh, dude, this was the best thing of the day. Go ahead and. Uh, and what's funny is the show was kind of like, you know, not like it wasn't like that um what's the word i'm looking for uh -oh, animated uh, animated animated of a show like of uh, what he's as far as as far as like ranking his shows like it wasn't the most animated one it's probably because the questions were rough but uh and then colton just brings he brings he it. he was <laughs> wild uh let's see spin are you stuck in the 16th century here what's the deal what's going on you're grainy AF. Wait, wait, wait. Should we wait with yeah. betting with the boys to pull it up? No, we'll bring it no. up now. Okay, no. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you're slower than normal, man. 
Yeah, you're usually the, the consistent one. There we go. He's back. Is it better? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Your money. Um, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm actually not sorry. Um, all right. Uh <coughs> nope. 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 Not that one. But I won't give any of you the 30 seconds at the end because nobody technically won. Um, so I will end my uh, show by thanking Ant for waking up early um, and being such a good sport. Um, Carlin and Colton uh, in two weeks' time. Oh, brilliant. It's at the very end. Well, yeah. Bang in the middle of quarterfinals. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, and thank you, Colton. Thank you, Carolyn, for your, uh, your head. Oh, no, seven rounds on Brooklyn. There's been a double on. Be who plays higher in the open. What do you think of that, Colton? Hey, you had Peter, your opportunity. I have a question. Here we go. Oh, God, I yeah. have a question oh. for you. Okay. Are you having Max O'Hag on tomorrow? Yes. Why? <laughs> Why? I love that he didn't have an answer. For the training think tub. These guys, they're an abomination to the sport. Max O'Hag is an absolute menace. They have their own podcast, the Corpus Anus. <laughs> I heard them say the most ridiculous things, like uh, like the Jake German is the, the best in the burpees at CrossFit. I just can't believe he was hit. They, me next to him in a burpee workout, This I would end this man's life. They should pray that he never has that faith. I cannot believe this, you're having this is just 30 seconds. Is this what you were going to use your 30 seconds for? Is this your plan for if you want? <laughs> my plan was actually to concede my final minute and just use my the whole minute to say it because I didn't think I was going to win. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Corpus, um, Anus. <laughs> Corpus Anus was amazing. Uh, Jake <laughs> German was another. That was another highlight of uh, miss saying people's names. Saying someone's name wrong. It's the Savan classic and it's like, it's just the ultimate like, Hey, hey, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> like when you get someone's name wrong on purpose. There you go. They must uh they must have heard that because it, I was I was watching uh Training Think Tank did the year end awards or whatever, uh fan fan awards or something. The people's awards for CrossFit. And they kept saying Sevon's name and they said Sevon, Savon, Sevon. <laughs> it's like <laughs> we just need to vote on what Sevon's name is and just drop his name. <laughs> no uh Savon podcast Colton Seven. is amazing. So there you go. Um yeah, so that was that was good. Colton definitely has come into his own, I would say, the last easily the last six months, probably, even maybe in three. Uh it's it's fun. So we uh one of the bet in the boys will give you a little bit of a heads up. Uh we will put our bets in at who is faster, Colton or Jake Berman, or Jake Jake German, I guess. Jake German. Uh, at 100 bar facing burpees. So stay tuned for that. Uh, next comment comes from uh, coach himself, Greg Glassman. This trio brings me more happiness than reading about broken science. So there you go. Uh, here's a real question for you at Misha1147. How is CrossFit going to make it appealing for affiliates to host quarterfinals? For example, my gym has about 30% of members qualified, but ropes don't go to 15 feet. There's only one GHD, same for most other gyms in the area, and organizing quarterfinal slots during the week would mean canceling regular, regular classes. How should an affiliate manage that? Tyler? I don't think an affiliate will manage that. I think, unfortunately, CrossFit's going to manage it. And they're not going to include things like GHD sit-ups or rope climbs. Uh, well, and if they do, and you don't not? think they'll do rope climbs? Dude, this is the new open. We didn't Dude, do rope, rope climbs in the open. The top 40 go to semi Like you have to get the right people to that. Are you saying that rope climbs? Are you, are you saying that that's mandatory? You you yes. are only the fittest person on earth if you can climb a rope because yes. Rich would prove you wrong in 2010. And he wasn't. He was the second fittest man in the world. He was the, the freaking fittest man and in the world. And then what happened? What happened next year? He learned how to climb a freaking rope. It's not hard. This is easy <laughs> stuff we're testing here, Tyler. <laughs> I swear That's... to God. They you want to make a bet down, on it? They watered down quarterfinals because you freaking 25% gonna... pansies can't get skilled. I'm going to move to high rocks. 
because I they, they will <laughs> not you. water down their no, competition. <laughs> it's going to stay the same the whole time. Freaking Mirham Von Roar, however you say her name, is doing fine. Okay, I please do not water down quarterfinals. I will be so upset. I'm not making it soft. I'm just telling y'all the freaking facts. This is going to happen. No rope well, climbs, no GHDs. What are we freaking doing, bro? Like not CrossFit. Ooh. I just, I don't know if I agree with you, Tyler. What? That they're not gonna not have GHDs or rope climbs. Let's see, dude. Twenty five percent. Wrong. They're... I thought you just called I'd him Travis. Just I like, fine. swear to God, John, if you call Travis, him Travis. Uh, John wouldn't have made the quarterfinals if it was, was a top. I was 93rd percentile, so get your facts straight. What happened in quarterfinals Easily. last year, Travis? You could be 99th percentile in the open. Let's see who did right in quarterfinals because it <laughs> wasn't you, buddy. <laughs> uh, I mean, speaking of quarterfinals, teams come start next week. I think we'll probably get a pretty good idea of what that will look like because quarterfinals for teams isn't that much different. Because um, it was We're a minimum of 50 last year. V ups, is that what you're saying? <laughs> Lots of V ups. Lots of V ups. Uh, Dude, that V up GAC workout was not, was no joke. It <laughs> was that, so bad. That workout stuck with you <laughs> yeah. for a while. <laughs> yeah. I, I hear you why they may not, why they might not program it. I just think that's a mistake if you're trying to cut down to the top 40 in every region, especially in North America and Europe. It's not about the community anymore. Now it's about getting the fittest, the right, correct, fittest people to the semifinals. And you right. have to test harder things. You don't cater to the community anymore. I'm willing to accept the open is what it is now, and I will not complain next year. You have my word. But if you water uh, down freaking quarterfinals, if I don't get my freaking weights in quarterfinals, <laughs> I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> Nick agrees with Tyler. Then you're wrong, Nick. I'm sorry. Go we'll see. If they oh, don't oh, include, oh, if they don't, oh, it, Nick, we'll have a conversation about it. The if they don't include, if Go they on. don't include GHDs or rope climbs, do you think more athletes we've seen make the games in the past don't qualify because the programming is just kind of goofy? It just depends. It depends. It depends what it is. Like I don't Nick, think... Nick backs it up with 30 ring muscle ups and clean and jerks at 275. Like that will separate everybody fine. Those are hard enough movements. That's fine. But I think rope climbs and GHDs are in, important in testing fitness. GHDs are hard to do. They're hard to recover from. They're hard to do. And a lot, a lot of times they're paired with rope climbs. You know what I mean? Because your hip flexors are gone. And then you got to try to rope climb. You can't rope climb as high because you can't raise your hips up. But, yeah. like, I just think it's a part of fitness. There are harder movements to do. And the, we're talking about, you know, gymnastics movements. It's not even – we're not talking about weights. I'm not biased in this conversation. And, like, people separate themselves by their rope climbing ability and their ability to do 150 GHGs and still be able to snatch. You know what yeah, I mean? But because normal people can't do that. Rope climbs is, is really kind of niche. Rob climbs is rope climbs. I don't think is niche, Tyler. I think rope climbs are an important staple. I didn't say Rob climbs. Yeah, you did. Oh, okay, <laughs> but anyway, regardless, I don't. I think it's sort of niche. I don't think like it overlaps with. Do you think handstand pushups are niche? Yeah, I've always said that. It's a weird. It's less niche. It's less niche than rope climbs. It's just. I, I disagree. I think handstand pushups and rope climbs are the same. Mm -mm. But, Mama, Mama Young, get fitter, John. Yeah, ask her how fit she is. She complains more than I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there you go. Um, all right, and last comment from at SPM40. John, hot like a hurricane young. There you go. Yes, sir. I don't mind that nickname. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's such a goofy thing to say. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, want us to uh comment on them next week, throw them down in the comments. Uh, either if you're watching now or in the future, uh, the Daniel Brandon documentary was released today a few minutes ago. Um, 
we have may or may not have seen it. We may or may not be able to comment on it. Um, Are we not allowed to talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little late now, ain't it, John? <laughs> John, what what if you may if you did watch this? <laughs> if you did. If you Which did, what are your thought. thoughts, initial thoughts on the Daniel Brandon documentary? Um, I think if people don't know who Danielle is and they just um just see her work out. So, like I think people who aren't as nerdy as we are uh get to have an insight on who Danielle is, who Danielle Brandon is, like as a person, where she came from what she's overcame and then, and you know, what she's doing now. Um, and I think it was successful in that. I think the documentary was very well done. I think the editing was very well done. I love the back and forth, you know, the old school CrossFit documentaries would do that. And I, I think all of that stuff was, was, was great. I, I feel like they're leaving stuff out that whatever, what happened with Kotler, I feel like they glossed over that a little bit. And I feel for Kotler. Like I, I here, I'm happy for Danielle and her documentary, but I mo I mostly felt bad for a couple people uh, while I was watching it. As far as like what my what emotions I was feeling. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. What are you laughing for, Tyler? <laughs> I just I'm thinking about like it's like the Clintons making a documentary and and you getting mad that they didn't include the 50 plus people they've killed. It's like, yeah, they're not going to include that part, John. <laughs> yeah, you know, I you know, and that's fair. That's fair. That is 100 percent fair. I just want to see the full picture. You know what I mean? And I think I think you can stay true to yourself and still show the full picture. I think we yeah. get one side of that story. Yeah. And like and like they kind of half showed the other side of that story. I just think there's a lot more going on. And it's it's you know, it's it's their documentary, right? So it's good, it's fine. But that would be <laughs> that, that's just a qualm that I had about it. But other than that, like I do think for people who don't know who Danielle is or haven't gotten to talk with her or seen her on a podcast, I, I, again, people who aren't super nerdy, I think this documentary is great. And I think uh, it'll win her over a lot of people. You know, um, she might even get more followers, Cooper. Um, I know you'd love that. Uh, it just Cooper. Cooper was very big on how many followers she had to start her journey. Yeah, and how many yeah. she has now. Yeah, I feel like he associates successfulness with how much followers you have. And I'm not trying to. I'm not. This isn't going to be the hate on Cooper show. But you know, he represents Dallin too, right? Uh, lab management represents. A lot of the biggest names in the sport. I, I um, know. I'm just using that yeah, as one it, example. It's Dallin, Fee, um, you know, it Jason just seems, Mason is in that group. There's a lot seems of them. like he's a lot more heavily invested in certain athletes than others. Um, it just feels that way. Whether that's true or not, and if it's untrue, I'm sorry for saying it, but it feels that way. But other than that, I thought the documentary was really well done. Editing was great. You can let, let Tyler talk now. No, no. no. You want Spence me to go, Tyler? Go. Yeah, Spence is going to go. Ty Tyler wants to go last. I think he has a different opinion. Um, so my first question when when I saw this kind of coming out was, why now? Right? Like, a lot of times you think of a documentary of this type of nature, it comes out after they retire, right? It's kind of like telling their story. As I'm watching it, I kind of lose that question and it's more about like, okay, like it gives context to who she is as a person, right? Like if you can relate to her story, if you understand or feel like her upbringing and maybe better understand her, get to know more about her, maybe start rooting for her because of it. Like, I, I think maybe now is a good time for it. Like, there was a whole lot of stuff that happened, what, 10 plus years ago? I mean, her whole childhood, but definitely the last 10, 15 years. Um, In and a then, way, though, it, you, you know, it made her for who she was. You know, she didn't want to come home. So she did gymnastics all day or did uh, sports on sports on sports and didn't then got involved in CrossFit and, you know, just wanted to train until she, you know, could go to sleep. Like, 
I think that was probably the greatest part of the of the documentary was that you got to like she dove head first into all these things so she could distract herself from home life, which is and now she's you know one of the fittest women in the world. Right. That's pretty cool. You know, uh yeah. I thought that that was the best part of the documentary. Uh Sea Hill, people were catching strays, hella shade in the trailer. To be honest, I I'm not sure the trailer lined up with what I was expecting from the, the documentary was an hour and 15 minutes. Um like it kind of did with Daniel's mom starting it off. Like you knew there was gonna be a lot of her background. I just didn't know where it was gonna lead. Um and, and I like she, that about a trailer, like I hate trailers nowadays for most movies because it's like, okay, I know the movie now. Versus with hers, I was like, I have no idea where this is going to go. Right. I mean, like you have a bit of a, you know, if you understand, if you watch the Sevon podcast with her years ago, two, what, two years ago, like you understand what her past was, but I didn't know how deep they were going to go into it. Right. Um, Wad Zombie, I'm worried it'll be too polished. I'd rather have a Hiller Haley style video. I mean, I, I don't know if I'd say it's too polished. It's definitely a very professional. Has he seen it? Wad Zombie? It doesn't sound like it. Well, I uh, wouldn't I wouldn't pass judgment on it until you watch it. Yeah, I, it, it's not a Hiller style video. I mean, it's definitely a, a big production type company. Put this it's together. Not a, it's so, not a biography up to this point. For the most part, yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I... I I wouldn't criticize that. If I was going to say criticizing anything of the actual makeup of the documentary, it was some of the background music got just really, really annoying, um, which is kind of odd. But I just noticed, I was like, why are they playing this kind of background music? And then they were just like, it was constant. There was always a background music playing throughout the entire thing, which was I didn't notice weird. that, but I yeah. do now that you pointed out. Yeah, there was just some weird kind of goofy thing where it just didn't make sense. And then... It stopped and then another song came on. And I was just like, okay, that's better. And then just, I just kind of got... Uh, it's a metaphor. Or they want you to yeah. put you in the experience of what it's like to be her. Right. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, Ortega, polished, can be good guys. I, I'm not saying it's not. like it's, it, it was very well put together. Um, I think if I had any critique about it, it was I'd like to have seen more of the last two years. Yeah. Um, it did. It went back and forth. It flashback to. It started with 2019, and it kind of goes through the last four years. Obviously, spent a lot of time on the history of it, and then, uh, it, to some degree, it kind of glossed over some of the underdogs' drama. I think. I think to some degree, I think there probably was more to it. I just don't know how much you want to get into that when it's a somewhat of a self promotional documentary right like mm -hmm. this isn't some expose trying to bash danielle or those around her who who went through it uh, but it does give you some context a little bit more context than what we've gotten in the past i think so tyler i think however like <laughs> i think however you felt about danielle going into this documentary you will feel more that way at the end you're either going to find things it'll turn you up to the things you don't like about her and it will turn you up to the things that you do like about her. Um, the thing that I kind of took away from it was like, I guess, good job, Cooper. Like it, it take that the, spin. That, <laughs> I mean, no, like they like you can tell it's what is he? He's a he's a manager. What what what's the word I'm looking for? He's agent. he's an agent it's definitely like an agent run thing and, and people are going to be more passionate about Daniel Brandon now. And, and I think you might actually be more interested in where the story goes because I, I felt the same thing spin. Like why, why now this feels so weird. Like, but a documentary about Bo Jackson is great at the end of Bo Jackson's career. I mean, like we're 20 years post, 20 or 30 years post MJ and we just now get the documentary about it. And it's like, it's great because of that. 
it feels weird right in the middle of her career. Or, or, or you could wait like you can add another 20 minutes on there and then just have her training up to the games of 2024. You know what release, I mean? And uh, you could yeah. release it uh, yeah. in the middle of July because that would hype people up to Danielle Brandon. Like the last 20 minutes is just, you know, her at Brute or, you know, just, just whatever. Just the last 20 minutes is just her getting fired up for 2024. And then you can end it on, you know. Are you, so you're talking about actual release date is weird. Which I I would yeah agree yeah with. like because because you're like why now I'm saying like you you could have released it mid July throw on 15 minutes of her just training and then be like and then her saying something about fired up for 2024 and I mean that'd be a really good ending and then that would get people like wanting to see Danielle at the games yeah. you know what I mean because and then the games hits next week. Like that would be yeah, a, that would, I, and, and people are starving for games content. Then people are getting hyped up. It's our Super Bowl, right? Mm-hmm. And like I just think that would have been an ideal time to release it. Um, yeah, but I agree. It's uh, right after the <laughs> open. Uh, you know, I almost think <laughs> as as soon as quarterfinals hit, it's going to be forgotten. Yeah, we're talking about point. quarterfinals, and then we're gonna be talking about who made like who did any big names fall out, or were the workouts and the programming, and like we're just I just think it's gonna be forgotten about. Where like if you was do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, there's definitely I, I think the gate the, the official games documentary will come out right before the games. I don't know if they didn't want to overlap that. I don't know. I, they're not they don't running with CrossFit. They're their own thing. I get it. I don't know. I, I think I, I like that idea of kind of a run up, kind of like a you know Miles to Madison, like something mm-hmm. feet feet to Fort Worth. I don't know. Um, speaking <laughs> of feet, <laughs> what was that? Fort uh, Worth. Oh, how many Madison, feet? How many feet to Fort Worth? Um, <laughs> flights. What? How many flights to Fort Worth? <laughs> yeah. That was so trash. <laughs> I, I hope you just came up with that. Yeah. You weren't working on it because that was. Yeah. He's been <laughs> hey, man. They're gonna dig this one. I just I had day. that up my sleeve the whole time. Oh I was waiting God. for it. Waiting for it. Brian uh, beats a Fort Worth spin. That's what that needs to be. <laughs> Speaking oh, of feet, uh, the bad bad girl Grace Walton. <laughs> she got penalized uh, yesterday for yeah. two questionable, I guess maybe. Um, reps on her muscle ups. I have a theory. Uh, oh boy, it's Australian conspiracy. You want to explain the go. whole situation? You want to explain the whole situation, Brian? Before I go on my theory. Uh, yeah. Well, so yeah, Grace yesterday, um, CrossFit announced that um, her score on twenty four point three was going to be adjusted. It said ten seconds. I think the actual is 12 seconds. Um, either way, her score was adjusted for two times that her feet went over the pull-up bar on her bar muscle-ups on her second attempt of 24.3. That dropped her down behind Miram Von Rohr. So she went from first down to second place. And uh, so I immediately wrote up an article and then shared the video of all 20, was it 35 of her bar muscle ups to see what people thought. So John, take it away. What's your, uh, what's your theory? John, John, <laughs> sorry. I was on mute. <laughs> I was like, uh, what? sorry. Uh, first thing, the stand, the standard, is a little bit poorly written because it says feet. It doesn't say toes. How many feet? And, and what they're showing is a person's basically full foot is over the bar. Secondly, if you show these bar muscle-ups, man, this is the most dick of a judge call <laughs> to, to, to say that these are no reps. There is absolutely nobody in competition now i get hiller does this little pause frame thing he likes to do with depth and with shoulders and all that which 
is a little bit unfair to the athlete because if the judge is saying it's good reps, they're good rep, right? They're good reps, right? But his point stands true. You, we need to enforce standards. And if you're going to let some people get away with it, not other people get away with it, CrossFit has no – shouldn't penalize people for that, right? So he does it to everybody and says, this is good, this is bad, right? But he gets to pause it, right? You That's cannot cool. tell me you're going to uh, – first off, if you okay Rebecca Fusile's freaking workout when she don't even lock out her arms on her bar muscle-ups half the time, I'm sorry, Rebecca. I don't care how bold your freaking elbows are from gymnastics. Like, your last thruster, you're more locked out than all the rest of your thrusters. You know how I know? Because I'm the freaking same way. My last <laughs> thruster is way more locked out than my other thrusters, okay? I get it. We're all trying to go fast, right? But if you're going to okay that score and not penalize that score, I'm not screaming for Fusilay's workout to get rejected or, or penalized or anything. But what I'm saying is if you're going to penalize – if you're not going to penalize that one and you take away – 12 seconds on Gracie Walton because you're trying to get CrossFit and High Rocks in bed together. I think a partnership is coming <laughs> because what I think is that they were like, we hate Australia. Tia has ruined the sport for the women. Nobody's got a shot, right? And they are penalizing this poor girl because some random High Rocks girl is second place and we want to get in good with High Rocks. We want to try to find some kind of a partnership there. I think they're doing some kind of a favor. There's some money under the table somewhere because I just think that's ridiculous. You gave a girl didn't even have a video on the second workout and you gave her credit for her workout. And she no, did no, it no, and, and did a whole round less, meaning she didn't really do it. She <laughs> literally, like, whether she meant to or not, that whole gym, she's a round short. You cannot tell actually me what she did. John, and, and, what you're saying right now has a lot of validity because their falling back on this was that, well, someone in the affiliate judged her and we have to rely on the affiliate. Well, somebody also did that with Gracie. Yes. They also did it with Tudor and that was trash. So just <laughs> throwing a third well, data point. No, 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 no. Yeah, but they also <laughs> did it with Fusile. You can't tell me Fusile's workout video is better than Gracie Walton's. You've cheated this girl. And listen, and. I know I'm high on Grace Walk. I I realize that. <laughs> no, I understand no, no. that. But when <laughs> when you penalize I Grace Walk, <laughs> twelve <laughs> seconds, twelve seconds. It just feels like you're like, what's the lowest we could penalize her so Mirham von Rohr can be first place? Like that's what it feels like. John, and you know what? I don't nervous. know. I know I'm hard on Mirham von Rohr. And Brian, you need to figure out how to say her name. Uh, uh, I heard, I, I listened to a High Rocks uh, podcast this week. It was like, sounded like it was Miriam or Miram, Miram Von Roar. I'm going to roll with Miriam until Mirham. somebody <laughs> until, until you hear otherwise. Okay. But listen, Miriam <laughs> is a random freaking name. She's probably a nice girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> But if I, I, I smear him, you better do some <laughs> crazy stuff in quarterfinals. Okay. I, I, I need Mirham Von Rohr to be like actually good because if you win the open and then you go win the open and you go and are trash in quarterfinals, if you can't, if you can't even make the semifinal in Europe, all right, which I think she's a semifinalist, but I need you to show me something that you are who, who you say you are. Okay. I need you to at least get close to making the games or you win some workout to give yourself some validity because my love for Grace Walton is making me hate you. And that's unfair <laughs> to you. That's unfair to you, right? CrossFit did it. I didn't do it, but you need to do something. Okay. Like I, you need to show out and I hope you do. And if you do, then I can be like, I mean, she won the open. Like I, I will give you all your flowers in the world. But right now, this poor Gracie Walton got robbed, and it is—it's a travesty. It really, really is. I and there's nothing she can do about it. It means nothing in the long run. It doesn't. But when Grace Walton makes the games this year, and Mirham Von Roar is sitting down <laughs> watching the games this year, 
Me it's just, me. it's, you know what? I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed <laughs> in you, CrossFit. I am. I don't know. I, Bosman, we've had you on the show before. Listen, Dave Eubanks hates all of us media people. Hiller walked up, tried to say truce, and he hates us. Okay. So whoever did this, whether it's between a Bosman or Dave Eubanks, just get your stuff together, man. It's, 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 this is embarrassing that the claw can get her score <laughs> validated and Rebecca Fusile gets her score validated and you take off 12 seconds because of these bar muscle ups, which are freaking good reps. They're not even like, yeah, I see what you're saying. Like freaking Patrick Clark, who's the most PC person in the world, says there's about three reps that are kind of questionable. If that dude is saying that, then you're just you just need to get your stuff together. I'm done. I'm off. Speaking of speaking of PC, like speaking <laughs> of PC, uh, no part of your foot can go over the lowest part of the bar was the standard originally. The problem is this year. Here is the drawing. And it's showing your heels above the line. Perfect. And it says the feet rising above the pull-up bar during the kip. The feet. The feet. If I tell you to draw a foot, is it the whole foot? Or are you drawing a toe? Is feet it's... plural? Yes, yeah, so both feet. Both feet. Okay. If Have you, you go seen, back to... You don't mess with those, Ohan. I just think, yes, that was the feet uppercut. Like that's what I, we keep saying feet, and that's what I'm thinking about. If you go back to last year's quarterfinals in bar muscle ups, the standard was no part of the foot shall go above the pull up bar. So they changed it, and so everybody's going back and saying, "Well, last year it's always been every you know any part of your foot." They've changed the handstand push up rule how many times every single year. Like we just changed handstand push-ups last year to a line instead of a box. So you can't use prior years when there's a new rule set forth in the language. You can't say, well, you just started CrossFit this year. You should have known that you need to go back to 2023 and look at the quarterfinals rules to understand what the the rules are for well, a bar muscle up. I love this because if you scroll up, doesn't it say this is not an exhaustive list? Sure. <laughs> it, well, just, and, and I, it cracks I, me up because it's like, if we missed it, that's okay. We can kind of just pontificate on it later. Uh, right. It's like, no, that's not how that should work. <laughs> I'm okay with that because you're not going to think of everything <laughs> that somebody's going to do, right? Like, Yeah. Like, and if you the, – the thing that kills me about this is that if this had been a thing in 2000, I think, what, 9 or 10? No, 8. Um. Butterfly would not have been repped. Butterfly pull-ups would not have been invented. That was a weird, like it is an uncommon movement at, at per those days. I, I just think the whole freaking thing is dumb. What does it matter if your feet go over to the bar to begin with? What didn't she show athletically? I mean, we want to go into she showed capacity. She sure as shit showed capacity here. I think you well, turned a blind like eye to this playing one. Favorites, you know? Yeah. If Brooke Wells had this video, I bet hers gets, you know, gets through. Is it because so, Gracie doesn't have an ice barrel sponsor? <laughs> like, what is it? So, so this video uh, by Westbourne Jim. Yeah. This, it's a parallax error. So this guy took a video at the bar height and then also kind of where Grace had her video. And then he'll do them side by side. And you will see that it sure looks like similar, uh, you know, very questionable. You could say, oh, maybe part of the foot is. And not once did his any part of his foot touch the red line. Yeah, if you go back and watch uh, the 24.3 thing with Hiller, Hiller's whole video was that camera angles are everything. As and soon as like, I saw this, are, I thought that. There are squats that looks like he's not getting to depth. And then he shows a different angle and like, he definitely Perfect. is right. And, yeah. and I agree. I agree with that, but it's just, it's upsetting. In, in my opinion, it's, uh, I know it's for the top five and making money on it, but 
they didn't go through and ask for videos of everybody else that finished between first yeah. and wherever it were Miriam, Mirjam finished on 24.2. Miriam. Right. Because <laughs> like that could have affected everything. Like all the people that you move down grace down to what? 42nd, 44th on 24.3. How many of them had a video that may have had questionable reps yeah. and they don't get their score adjusted where all she needed was five or six people to have a 10 second penalty. And she probably moves right back up where it was. So well, let me ask you this. Like she should have just not had a video. Well, she yeah, she would have been the, better. She wouldn't have gotten the prize money though. Oh, who cares? She uh, would have won uh, the open. first place for the open though. I think she still would have. She just wouldn't for that yeah. workout. Right. That's no, not part no, of the because rules. It, no, because this was her video got reviewed because of they asked for the top 10, I believe in the overall finish of the open. Of I think they asked for of all of them. So that's part of the and, overall and the prize. Wasn't money. in the top 10. Right. Cause she just murdered one workout and then that's all we had. I feel bad for the claw. I'll Do never you? call it or anything different than that. Like if she I makes mean, the games. Claw. I mean, it's a good nickname. I guess. I guess she probably wouldn't like it, but maybe not for that right. reason of why she's named the Claw. But maybe people will forget. Maybe she could do a documentary in like four or five years, and yep, that's that's what it's all focused about. Uh, all right, <laughs> it's time for some blind rankings. Um, oh, I need some Ovaltine, man. I got worked out on that one. Let's see. Why is it not sharing? We should make those shirts for Grace. And just wear them during semifinals. Robbed. No. No. Grace the bandit. We should let it Maybe. go. Hang on. There's there's gotta be uh Dude, how mad would you be if you won the Open and then you lost the Open because of something stupid like that? She was Some asleep when it, when it was announced. That would suck to wake up to. I bet Zane knew first. Guaranteed. Uh, he was in the comments early. So, yeah, I'm sure they woke yeah. up checked and, and saw it. God, um, they're all asking for it. I'm going to get the stupid mask. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Patrick Clark, she just needs to worry about quarterfinals. What's done is done and $10,000 less. That's like even more money in Australia. Where's the blindfold Tyler, man. Where's Vindicate? The claw needs a t-shirt. That'd be a good one. The claw. Uh, did you guys see, if you watched death by, I Justin Kotler was talking and they, they recorded yesterday at two and uh, he found out live and during the, the recording that uh, Gracie got bumped down. That I was wonder, unfortunate. I wonder if Sevon would pay Grace 5,000 to do Gracie versus the world next year. And she could be the girl version of what we did with Taylor this year. You just got to find a few in Australia. Oh god. Or I mean she could come over. Yeah. As popular as it was this year. I could see her doing that. Uh all right. Well, there was a documentary released today. And so the topic <laughs> no. for the blind rankings is <laughs> documentary who? Which rank the five athletes who should produce a documentary in the next year? Oh, who, God. oh, who who we would want a documentary on? Yes. What's the, the best answer? They John? are all current CrossFit athletes. All current CrossFit. So the the best answer is Ricky because he's going to win this year, and that documentary would be amazing. Uh, I uh, really agree. He's top. But, he's top two for sure. Maybe top. Three. If if he wins this year, would that not be the best documentary? Yes, if he wins this year, but he, that's a lot. Thank you. He's he's but going that's to it. Win. It's not an it's not an if. I said it. It hasn't happened yet. I and said so I'm it. Going off. It's going right to happen. Now. I just said it. 
<laughs> All right. Here we go. First one. Remember, how, who do you want to see a documentary from most? Ricky, you're on. <laughs> that is fantastic. All right. Who okay, I will hear you out. Who do who would you want to see over him? I'm trying to think who's more entertaining. It's like like a Colton documentary would be fun, but ultimately, like I want somebody, I would want to watch somebody who's gonna win. No offense, Colton, get better. We've talked about this. Um and he has such a redemption arc. Like you could flash back to 2017. And then you could do go to 2018, 2019 of the years, him like mentally struggling. And then him winning Nasty Nancy and calling Matt Fraser uh, a normal Australian name. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like there's just a whole lot of stuff that bring people, like people want to talk about it with Ricky. I would agree with Ricky. Yeah. And, it, and then you yeah. can put Kotler in there as much as possible to talk for him if you think he's not going to talk well. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Ricky actually talks really well. Who, okay, who's his agent? Who is Snor than is Snorri his agent? I didn't say that. You did. I know. I'm, Snorri's I'm, his agent, right? Snorri's his agent, yeah. Yeah, oh, so Snorri man, could get plenty of screen time. Snorri. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay, Ricky. Ricky at number Thanks. one. I was, I was Ricky, trying to play one. devil's advocate to think, like, who who would yeah. be more interesting or – or something like that. Like I was kind of thinking about Adler because of the whole drama with him and Dude, uh, I think Roman. Adler would be so dry. I think Romans would be really good if he spoke English. I I concur, <laughs> but he's not on the. Well, we got we get Pedro. We get Pedro to AI uh, <laughs> figure that out. Translate. That's that. true. That's true. All right. Only two through five left. Here we go. Laura Horvath. See, this doesn't do a lot for me. See, I've I disagree. There's like a mini doc on her somewhere, and I it was really good somewhere. Like I it's so good that I don't remember where it is. Like, okay. It's not on the bottom. No, no, no. I agree. I would okay. say three or four. But like I just feel like there's gonna be some good names that we hear. They're like, oh yeah, and then and then <laughs> You know, we only got one spot, right? So three. I, I would. You say three. Okay. Three. Because okay. I like Laura, and I think okay, that's like fair. If she hides from the camera. She doesn't hide from the camera, but we don't know much about her. So if she it, comes out with anything, I think we'll see a better part of her. Um, more. And it could be just like your cup of tea type of deal. That's true. It, that's true. You know, and it's just not mine, and it is yours. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine with three. All right. All right. Next one. Roman Krennikov. I got to go too. If we knew what he was saying. <laughs> Do you... Th okay, okay. Let me push back a little bit. Not necessarily pushing back. We'll, let's just assume we're going to put says, subtitles. Okay, too. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's, let's, let's just assume that there will be subtitles. For uh, four. You know what I mean? <laughs> but i'm down to put roman too but only if he's speaking honest the whole entire time oh yeah that, like, that I, mm -hmm. I need the roman from the russian podcast when he doesn't think anybody's listening like i need that roman and if that if that roman is there i'm 100 percent down yeah you see what i'm saying i want the i want the i want the one that they can't make i want military stories he's not allowed to tell sure, i want sure. what really I mean, was like, going on if you're him. telling me we can get all that then like i'm super down for two if we don't get that and it's an american version him at mayhem and i gotta listen to the freaking translator the whole freaking time <laughs> that's a five for me man i'm not yeah. watching that that's every mayhem video now four because i think <laughs> Better than not, chances are if Brian they made this. Is, can we ask Brian which one of those two situations will no, happen? You may not. You may not ask. It's <laughs> <What? laughs> up to you guys to decide what type it's, of documentary would be made. It's more likely that that would be made. That the American it's version. Be I, everything's churched I, I up. Yeah. I agree. I agree. I say four. Number four. I'm with you. All right. Two and five. That's going to be. Uh... We'll see. Ariel Lowen. 
two, five. Oh my <laughs> god! I hope can Ariel's I, listening. Somebody send this to Ariel. Can I? Can I explain my reasoning? She's. A mom. I actually Who think Ariel would mom? agree with me. <laughs> She's I think mom. Ariel would agree. Who cares? With me. I think Ariel would agree with me. Yeah. Here's here's Ariel Lowen's documentary. I wake up every day. I take care of my baby, and then I go work out in my garage. And There's then, one uh, part of this that and you're then, uh, and then uh, I got my training partner with me. He means everything to me. And then, um, and then of course my husband. He also means everything. And to that's me. the sleeper and, right there. And then I Any go to movie sleep. Dylan's in. It's an immediate <laughs> hit. And then I and then I go to sleep. And then I wake up and I work out every day. You know, I'm not like these jokers who have to peak for everything. I'm fit 365 <laughs> a year. Like, I think Ariel Lowen does the same thing every single day. Um, and then, yeah, you'd have Dylan. Dylan would be Dad Jokes USA. Who cares? <laughs> it would sure. be the greatest movie no, 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 we'd no, have no, in no, forever. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm saying he would be, but then it's not a documentary about Ariel Lowen. It's Ariel and Dylan Lowen, their life. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Good. Yeah. I just don't I'm think. I'm good with that. This is a CrossFit documentary. I think Ariel Lowen's doing the same Dylan thing every single day. If Colton Mertens comes up and he's number freaking five because you say Ariel Lowen is two, you, that's you on you. You ain't going to okay? like what I'm about to say right here. I want to see the Ariel doc more than I want Colton doc <laughs> because he's got his own YouTube channel. We know the life that Colton's living. So does Ariel, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's fair because I've watched Colton's videos. I haven't watched Ariel's. You know why you haven't watched Ariel's? Because it's not that interesting. <laughs> and, I'm, and I don't mean this in a bad way. I think Ariel would agree with me. She has a routine life. Like, you know, for an what? elite oh, okay. crosser. No, John. Because you bully me. It's two. <laughs> Sticking with two and you can suck it. What are we doing? I don't I don't conform to this list. I want everybody to know that I wanted Ariel Lowen. <laughs> I want everybody to know that I wanted Ariel Lowen fifth, and it's no offense to you, Ariel. You're amazing, you're super fit, but I know you just live in that house and work out in that garage. <laughs> you just that's, live in that house. That's it. Are we are we putting it in two? Yeah, this is Tyler's list now. I've been bored. <laughs> John's gonna cry about it. No, I don't uh, conform to this list. Arrow Lowen should be five. You're the one who put it at two. I just said hold I on. It was Can I? Two. If if <laughs> if this next one is Colton Mertens, I think you have to wrestle Colton. <laughs> I got length on him, dude. I think I can be uh, yeah. Colton and I wrestle him. <laughs> God. Okay. Can we? Can we please make that happen? If Colton Mertens is number five, on yeah, the off I'll, shot that he's number five. I'm going to go to Spartanburg anyway. I'll wrestle Colton. We set up a wrestling match. I hope he's listening. We're going to set up a wrestling match. WWE rules. Oh, no, UFC rules. UFC rules. Okay. Well, he was uh, a wrestler, wasn't he? Nah, no. He played basketball, man. He's tall. All right. Go ahead. Let's see it. I hope you typed it in, Brian. Did you type it? Please erase and type if you didn't type. Uh, Mal O'Brien is not it. <laughs> right. we, were, we were told to not talk about Mal O'Brien ever again. So, you're going to, about to never comment again if that's the type of stuff you're bringing. Yeah. All right, here we go. I think if it's Colton, then I have to. Let's freaking go! <laughs> Get go! Ah! Roar! <laughs> that's right! Here's the deal you know I have you to know make, what, though. Tyler? After Colton Colton's was done, after Colton's done, I'm going to take my turn because that's how happy I am. I'm going to come to Spartanburg and I'll wrestle both y'all. And I'm just going to do it because I'm excited. It's going to Colton, be so much fun. Here's the rule I'm making. If I actually have to wrestle Colton, he was he was a collegiate wrestler. Uh, I'm going to have, like, there's got to be, like, a, a ride the bull for eight seconds. If I can go, like, 20 <laughs> seconds without getting tapped, that's that works. <laughs> oh, man, this is going to be better than Jake Berman. <laughs> Listen, hold up, hold up. We should bring Jake Berman. It's going to be Colton versus TTT. Uh, <laughs> and then whatever, whatever y'all want to do. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, and then oh, I, I, I'll do it. I'd like to see the odds in the Heat One app for uh, Colton versus Tyler. Oh, if if no. we actually do it, I'll put it in the Heat One app for sure. I'm down be... to give Tyler a handicap. No, I like what he said. Like we'll give him a thirty second, thirty seconds to run away. 
Can no, 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 no. I think, I think let's, say, let's say a minute. Let's say a minute. They got to be in an area, and then <laughs> UFC rules, you got to tap them out. I got to find a wrestling coach. <laughs> <laughs> and just grappling, just grappling, right? We're not hitting. I got, I got, I got a couple days. Hiller, you know, Hiller's gonna go. So I got like probably four days of just Hiller drilling. Here, me here, I'll, I'll wrestle. wrestle. I'll wrestle Hiller as the undercard. Okay, that's right. what we'll do. <laughs> I got four days for Hiller to prep me while we're in Spartanburg. God, that make good content. All right, <laughs> see you in Spartanburg, Colton. <laughs> oh man, this brought so much joy to me. That was uh, this, this one of your worst ones, guys. I subscribe to the results of this list, but I do not conform to the list itself. <laughs> I where'd you go wrong, Tyler? Laura needs to be at two. No, so Colton. Be, needs then you would have put at, Ariel at three. Ariel needs to be still at five. Been That's that. The list is fixed. You put Colton at two. Maybe and it's because I grew up on a farm. Like I know what Colton's doing. I know his life. Dude, it's yeah, just but he's the raising for puppies, the commentary like, for the commentary alone. Raising puppies. Uh, like, the there's all kinds of stuff point. going on there. He has more of a persona than anybody on this list. And I don't know. I just think for the commentary alone, I I would rather want to be inside Colton's head than anybody else's head. Maybe I don't know, Ricky would be good too. But you know what I'm saying? Like just mindset. Mindset wise, mm. I still want Laura at second. <laughs> I know Laura's got a freaking killer mindset too, but Laura's kind of like, I think I it's know. the whole mystique of her not. You're talking. right. Laura's just a little cold, and maybe she yeah. wouldn't. And if she wouldn't be, then that documentary would be pretty awesome. I think but if you did a documentary, I don't think she would do one. Is the problem? That, and it's hard to picture it. You right. know what I mean? That's like the comment about Rad. She's a rad athlete. Maybe they're going to do her next. If you've seen Danielle's documentary, Laura's not going to do anything like that. That's not what I said, Nick. You take that back. What Nick said. Get, get the full quote in there. <laughs> Stop it right now. <laughs> it's like, cool. So you go. Blind rankings. Uh, terribly done, guys. <laughs> That was. Do you think you can beat Laura in wrestling? Hey, I don't know. <laughs> She's about your size. I know. Yeah, I don't know. You squat, but I got her though. Yeah, I think so. I'd hope so. I think you do. Yeah, I like. I think we did well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's debatable. We got a wrestling uh, match out of it. I don't know what uh, order you want out I mean, of blind that's rankings than that. That's the best expected outcome you could have. So here's, I guess here's the other rule. But both Colton and I gotta wear these <laughs> the whole time we're wrestling. That's, your only chance. <laughs> <laughs> that's how Tyler evens it up. He's just he's been training. He's been sleeping in this. Like Colton's just a knock in the darkness. Sleep. He's been living in the darkness, <laughs> being molded by the darkness. Oh, dude, All right, get Manta to sponsor us some money for that. I know, like, <laughs> that'd be a good one. Uh, All right, games bound. Way too early rankings. We're just a week after the open. Not even the quarterfinals. We don't even know if the quarterfinals will have a GHD or a rope. Uh, but. With that, we are going to predict who is going to qualify out of every region. We also don't even know how many from each semifinal actually qualify. So we used last year's uh, estimates or the numbers from each region. And for the most part, we're pretty similar. But really? there are some differences. Some of you guys need to study up on uh, which region athletes are in. So I'll give you guys a chance to maybe update one or two here or there. I'm wondering if it wasn't me. <laughs> it is both of you guys. Um, oh, nice. Thank God. Yeah, there is was so fun. many people that are like pulled out. out. Yes. Switch, switch regions. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to go through it. Mostly talk about those who are different on our lists and uh, start there. Before we do that, going back to a comment, Larry Young, Papa Young, 49. Thank you. 
Uh, he asked this about the quarterfinals. Will we see a barbell over 275 pounds in quarterfinals? I hope. Um, yes, there will be a max lift of some sort. There, there will be a max, and that everybody can play. Somebody right. will have a barbell over 275. <laughs> Somebody will, yeah. Depending on what the lift is. So. Yeah. <laughs> if it's if it's squats, that she's not going to because he's got a squat for it. <laughs> <Yeah. get> <laughs> Everything else is speed be fine. Just do that power snatch and do the slow ride down. The slow <laughs> overhead squat. All right, we're gonna start with the men. We're gonna start with the smaller regions, and that's not it. Here we go. The men in That's Africa. <laughs> Tyler doesn't even know anybody in Africa. Um, Did I so not put, put Africa? Nobody? No, you put nobody. <laughs> you put nobody. I think I remember being like, I hate this. <laughs> you also <laughs> uh, picked Plyushkin for Asia. Plushkin. And uh, nobody else in Asia. So that one's out. Um, in South America, I think we'll start talking about those athletes there. You I have Kelly and Sousa. On Africa. What's that? I think it's Zernimer. Zernimer? Darren Zernimer? Yeah. Yeah. I picked Keelan Henry. I think Keelan probably fits Dave's style maybe a little bit more. Plus, he was sick last year at, at uh, semifinals. Um, so I think he'll be back in the mix on that one. Uh, South America, Guy. All three of us picked Guy. Um, and then... Ain't gonna let that happen again. Kalyan Souza, I have, and then you guys have Kaike Cervani. Uh Gee, making it back. How confident are you guys on that one? Pretty confident. We have not heard much out of him this year. Yeah, uh I'm I'm decently confident. Yeah, I think I think last year was a bit of a fluke and just the way, you know. I don't know. I'm pretty the way the the way that the sled ended up working like that was a weird event for yeah. a lot of regions. And I, I I'm I know that he is the fittest guy in South America, so I, he'd have to get like really kind of screwed by the events for him not to make it. Uh, and I mean that there's possibility because it happened, but I just doubtful that it will happen again. And I think I actually going to 40 athletes in the region helps him. To some degree, because the scoring table will be different. More yeah, one bad sure workout won't be as bad, and he'll have a shot at coming back if he does. Mm -hmm. uh, there's the wrong one. Larry Young, you want to bet, John? Slow rider. <laughs> Slow rider. <laughs> he'll show me. He'll definitely. He won't hesitate to show me if he does. Uh, and then we go to Oceana. Hold on, I'll bet. I'll bet if it's a snatch, I win. If you want to make that bet. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, just uh, straight up who's got the most weight i hope it's not like a any static lift though because he will beat me <laughs> <laughs> uh going to oceana I, I was told that's how you how you Oceania? pronounce it oceana oceana that sounds Oceania. like a hispanic woman uh patrick clark yes uh Mortiza has some visa issues. He still can qualify and maybe they get sorted out. I doubt it. But if we look at the top two in the leaderboard, I think I'm with John and Mortiza will also qualify again, just not make it. Uh all of us have Gerard Crouch and Bailey Martin. That no Peter, no Peter Ellard. I wanted I, to put I I they need a fourth guy. I like yeah. And if it was there was a fourth guy, I would have put in Peter Ellis. I'm like, and I won in like all of me, like was like, oh, that sucks. Dude, Bailey's just too good, man. And like it's between Bailey and him. Mm -hmm. Guy was 13th at the games, right? Yeah. Like yeah. all three are gonna I, be top, possibly top 10. Top, I mean, I, I should have been top 13. That. I can't bet against that. It's we just want too to, much. Pete. If you're listening, we want. I like. I want you to pull it off, but you you have. No, to don't proof. sugarcoat it. You're not good enough yet, Pete. Get no, you it. you have the burden of proof. Yeah. I believe in you, but you you have to prove me wrong. I saw that 255 snatch, and that's got to be 30 pounds heavier. And until that's 30 pounds heavier, you have no shot. It's. Uh, I agree with you, John. Like the top three in Oceana is just so top heavy. 
yeah. they're just they just don't get the credit because of the rest like i'd say number six on down yeah like chris giles and then there's jake douglas yeah you know, i i thought about jake too but jake's more of a specialist and he he fares I, better with boz's programming than dave's that was he was one i really thought about with dave's programming yeah uh larry power all right stop giving money we can't have this conversation. <laughs> we cannot have this conversation you, you on be this, quiet on john the spin, on the spin show and whatever the quarterfinal says man like it they're not gonna say power they're just gonna say snatch <laughs> it's, it's, i i do not want to have it dictated that says it has to be power I do. Oh, they will. There's way that would be a nightmare. You imagine the nightmare of that. Yeah. But no, they they probably play favorites again. So, um, yeah. If they say power, Gracie, you're screwed. I'm sorry. Film it. They hate Australia. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Uh, So that I don't think there's too much difference here, other than Tyler refuses to participate in some (laughs) smaller regions. I screw up the game every week. Yeah. Uh, all right, let me pull off the call. Oh, Garrett. Ooh, we so, all have Austin Hatfield. Look at that. So we all have pretty much everybody. Um, the main difference, I have Garrett Clark. You guys both have Luke Parker. And then Tyler and I have Corn Y.A. And mm-hmm. John, you have Spencer Panchik. I thought I put Corn Y.A. You did not. You specifically you removed did. him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you no. know what happened is, I think I removed him from the mountain. Maybe I don't know. I, I would like I would like Cornway to be in here. Well, then who would you take out, Spencer? So you're going with Tyler, straight up. You and Tyler exactly the same. Actually, <laughs> mine are not in. A I'm going to take out order. Travis Mayer. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> Just yeah, so we don't yeah, agree. yeah. No, no. I'm gonna rock with that. Yeah, I think, uh, I think, uh, me and Tyler will have the same list. I, I thought I had Cornway in there, just miss state. Uh, Samuel Cornway is gonna go to the games. Spencer Panchik will have to beat somebody else. Uh, Jackie Milley, how many people have left CrossFit this year? Let- left or not competing? I think is a two different questions, but yeah. It's- a lot uh, then on top of it just athletes moving regions i think are a few too that uh make it up oh it gets uh, wild in the women the women's a hard so, it, garrett clark you want me to talk about him go ahead john so he was 16th in semifinals last year it's not egregious for spin to put him here he's young he's and you know young and improving right every year after year and he was yeah. 16th last year um i don't think this will be his breakout year but like it's not again it's not it's not egregious for somebody to just take a shot in the dark on him he was probably spin's last pick mm-hmm. um he went to rogue and i probably wishes he didn't uh because he got he got ruined by the rogue invitation <laughs> ruined <laughs> um, Which- which is you're competing against the top. Yes, they're 15, better people. 20, yes, for sure. They, and they're better than the people he's going to go against at the semifinals. Um, yeah. I, I mean, half of them are the same people, but the other half are not. Um, so, yeah, that's who Garrett Clark is. He's his shot in the dark. He's uh, like, I would say Luke Parker and Alex Vino and Austin Hatfield would be. Like what bubble. our shot in the dark so like, mm-hmm. like what like those last three names and he just says Garrett Clark's gonna be there and Luke Parker's not. Yeah. Uh PC has a good point. Garrett's f- hands were just destroyed Dude, from the his, pull up his bar. Whole body was bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing I as I was going through this, last year was the first year of super semifinals, right? The combined semifinal where 12 people made it from North America East. So this is the first repeat, like super. Condensed. We know there's turnover. Know. We know there's turnover, but as you go through this list, it's hard to pick against so many of these. Yes, it really is. But like, 
you know, some of that turnover there though is Travis Mayer and Austin Hatfield. That's and Saxon Panchik. Well, that's just three new Sprague names. Leaves. Yeah, Sprague left, went to that's, the West. So there is turnover. It's just not. It's in a little bit of a different way. It's, like we all said, three names that are not that weren't there last year. Right. That's true. It, um, Jack yeah, Carlo was a hard one for me to put in. I, Dude, I think he's just getting fitter, man. I you think, think he's ready. He's just there now. Yeah, I mean, you remember how last year I was like, um, I think James Sprague is going to make it like comfortably. Here. And I mean, he had a bad workout and made it a little uncomfortable, but then the last workout was fine. All right, right? Like he was top three in the last workout, top four or something like that. Um, and he was like seventh or something. He wasn't even on the line, right? I think that will be Jack Farlow this year. Um, you know, Go ahead. Spencer. I look at Jack Farlow like we looked at Paige Powers last year. Right. So Paige Powers at Wadapalooza. She had a good year prior. She was in the 20s. Right. Then she goes to Wadapalooza, shows that she can compete. I know the women's field wasn't great, but she ended up winning it. Jack Farlow showed a lot at Wadapalooza. Tier right, Wadapalooza. Specifically on the endurance, <laughs> too. <laughs> Thank you. Spencer. Yeah. Yeah. And so, guys. It is sorry, I I'm, I messed you up too. It's Tier Wadapalooza, just just so you guys please know. please get it right. Um, but no, I I think I'm not saying he's going to win it or by any stretch, but I think it showed that he has the capability to compete with some of the top guys, and he's not going to be one of those last ones in. I think he could be eighth or ninth and be comfortable going into that last day. And and he's got you know one of the best training partners anybody could ever ask for. You know, he probably loses every single day unless it's lifting. Unless, yeah. I, and I just think, I think Jack Farlow is going to make a huge jump this year. Um, and I yep. don't know where that will show at the games. Uh, we haven't made our predictions yet like that. Uh, and I will after semifinals, but I think he's going to make a huge jump this year. Uh, extra sloppy. I'm so late. I missed the blind ranking. I bet he was watching the Daniel documentary. Very unfortunate. Um, this whole night's ruined. All it We're is definitely worth hour. it. It's worth it. Go back. Go check it out. Can um, you not go back? What this isn't like? You can watch it from the beginning. He wants to watch it live. You need to, to watch, watch it, live. it live. Oh, okay. Uh, on to uh, North America West. Uh, a little bit different. John is throwing out all kinds of different names out here. Um, I threw out Tyler's pick from last year, Justin Rhodes, as making it. Um, in place of Nick Matthew for what you guys both have. John over here is going rogue and picking John Wood, Cole Sager, and Luis Oscar Mora. So no Bill, Bill Leahy, no James Sprague, no Sam Quant. I don't know what's not, going on. You're not on the house of Bill? What's going no, on? No, 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 no. <laughs> right, guys, I put all these names down, and for some reason they're not there. Yeah, okay. What do you mean they're one, not one, there? One second, one second, one second. <laughs> i'm not sure john okay i, I was. promise you uh we had to make this sort of not rush but uh, it oh, was harder to we make had this. all week uh, <laughs> I can't and, tell I, okay, I had okay like four days five days i always I, feel so I, guilty can i redo the list please because i promised no. you you uh, you tell us where you missed all right, all right. sam quant would be in there um and who else did i leave off <laughs> Sprague, Bill Leahy, and Sprague. I did. I forgot that he moved. I think I originally had him on my other list. You had I him changed on the, the name, right? Yeah. I had him. I had his name, and then I changed it because he was west now, not east. And then, right? right? And then I just yeah. left his name off there. And then, uh, yeah. And then Will uh, Bill needs to be there too. So my list is the same as Tyler's. Okay. This listen, is, Tyler's this is getting weird. Tyler, this Tyler is getting doesn't, weird. Tyler doesn't listen. Tyler doesn't do like the lower regions, you know, the regions that suck. He doesn't bother to even put anybody there. <laughs> that's, because, that's because he's allowed to copy my list of those people. I realize he might not know those people as good as I know those people. And then this is a test to see if he can actually put the good people where they're supposed to be. And I'm going to copy Tyler's list. Okay. Hit Tyler's list is what I would say. Tyler, I promise you it's what I would say. I think Kelsey's I'm right. I need your analyst. I need oval team. I haven't had it today and it's, it's making me all no. foggy. There no, it I, is. No, no, no. <laughs> Tyler will have his day uh, or moment here when we get to the women's side. Listen, um, 
So Plishkin's it's not so going pretty. to the games. Okay. And, that's, and when he does, I'll be the senior analyst. Now he'll be, right. he'll be the only one from Asia going. And then that, that <laughs> Everybody be, else. Hey, so ju- you say Justin Rose and not Nick Matthew. Cause that's, that's the big disagreement. Right. Right. Um, I don't even disagree all that much. I was sketchy on Nick. I promise guys, my, I must've like just said those guys were on there. And then I just didn't think about it because I, I did it real quick. And then I sent it to spin and I never thought about it ever again. <laughs> um, <laughs> You that's didn't try. Happened. But what about my uh, yeah, Justin yeah, Rhodes no, over I, Nick Matthew? Yes, Justin Rhodes. That's the big disagreement. I mean, Justin was in the mix, and then he had a Dude. terrible handstand walk event five last year and was toast. Boy, Rhodes. Um, I would put Bill over Rhodes, though. Yeah, I would, too. Would you? Okay. Yeah. I think they're going to be pretty much right there. I think those two will be battling for one of the last couple spots in my Dude, opinion. Rhodes improved his 405 deadlift 50 pounds and Brian has never let it go. He thinks this guy's going to be amazing because he was Darn. so freaking weak before. <laughs> that's that's it makes no sense. That's a big improvement. Uh <laughs> to Europe. <laughs> to Europe. Brought to you uh, by John Young, John Young Barbell Club. All right. Big differences here from last year. Uh we got the the one green row. I got Luka Vunjak. Uh, Tyler has Luka Dukic. And John has Colin Bossard. Where have we heard Colin's name before? Oh, it's per, uh, it's so, Bossard. Bossard? Was that get with the programming? Was that, I think it's pronounced. Me, me and then I think, and then Coffee Pots and Wads had him in his preview show. No, Patrick's in the chat, man. Like, he, he's, <laughs> this is a slap to them. Don't be mean. Um, but Shaw. It wasn't. Um, Luca, Tyler. Why do I have to defend that? I agree with Tyler. I think we should defend that we don't have Luca. I think Luca Duca should make it. Again, my list is a little. I don't. Luka. We can't go off my list right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is a I know, of like, progress. I listen. I know I'm supposed to. I got. I had a lot of stuff going on. Just, just he's at the end. Of, it's because you peaked last week, and now you're no. Now you're the, gra- the Gracie stuff. <laughs> the Gracie stuff got me riled up, and then I had to think of different <laughs> names, and it just. And and none of these people matter when it comes to the games. Y'all know I'm about the top dogs in the games. Uh, Luca slipped last. I mean, these are all games athletes. What are you saying, John? No, he only cares I, about the top ten. No, no like, if you're not top I ten of the games, I care, you're not I care it. who's going to do something, man. Well, I would say top twenty. That's very nice of you, uh, Sharunky, Tyler. I feel like the programming last year at semifinals just like lined up perfectly. Really for lucky him. for him. I agree, one hundred percent. But I have watched. I I have tuned in over to him over the year, um, and I do think he's improved. Now it, I'm not. It's not my most confident pick. I won't. I won't lie to you there. <laughs> um, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised we all have Bronislaw. I went back and forth with Bronislaw, and uh, I did too. Like I wanted to put Colin in there, but I'm like, Braun, he's sneaky good at some things that you wouldn't think of. And again, I think he can sneak back in there with some really good finishes. He's had another year with Kotler. I'm no Kotler saying stop lifting crazy heavy and work on your weaknesses. And I think it showed a little bit in some of his workouts um, and some of the off season stuff. So I, I'm not, I think he can get back in there. Squeeze right back in. I I agree agree with everything that you just said. And then uh, Boonjack, yeah, no, Boonjack. Oh, he's oh. Just, he's too weak, man. Depends on what the programming is. We ain't gonna see heavy programming, John. Dude, <laughs> I, didn't see listen, like, like yeah, but no, now semifinals. Those are the like act real he was, deal test, he and was they test strength and or sixteen. I think last year, like, he was they right there. I know because he's awesome at stuff that's not strength and power output, but you're going to have two to three events that are strength and power output. I and he's it. not great at those events. Uh, Vi, no Hoffer, Tyler? I struggled with Hoffer. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I I thought long and hard about Hoffer. I, I don't know. I just I haven't seen something 
that lets me know for sure yet. Uh, Chris Giles, Hoffer is weak, needs to be a gymnastics heavy semis. Well, I, think, I mean, I think it, Hoffer's stronger than you think he is. Like, he's definitely not top end, but he's not going to get blown out. Not in Europe, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I think Europe is weaker in general. Yeah. Um, across the board. So, right. and here's the thing Victor Hoffer has home runs for him in gymnastics workouts, and sem semifinals is going to be harder gymnastics workouts there's going to be two two events that are very hard gymnastics stuff and he's going to be great at both of those events yep. now he's an execution gym gymnast though and with dave i feel like we're going to see more volume gymnastics or do you think we'll still yeah, see hoffer still yeah. hoffer still did well at rogue didn't he win the yeah one? One yeah, he won with... the handstand walk run, and then I forget what the third was. The box was. jumps. Yeah, okay. yes, yeah, box jumps. He won. He was either second or won that event. Yeah, I can't remember. If one is heat. I can't remember if he won the overall one, but uh, I he just you don't think it hurts gymnastics. him at all. No, yeah, I think it'll okay. be fine. Uh, and anything that is higher skill, he's going to just win even more. Uh, onto the women's side. This is where it starts to get ugly for Tyler. Um, all right. First of all, Alexia Williams, both of you guys, she is out with a neck injury. She's uh, out with a neck injury, so she's out. Um, I changed my list. You didn't take it? It did not update then. <laughs> so oh well, that must it's... have been what happened. I think I fixed my list. I no, okay. No, Smith has hung me out to dry then. Because <laughs> you, you didn't I hit think... save on your Google Docs. This is I, like I, this I girl. A... I opened it up. <laughs> No, and, no, no. Uh, it, it okay, was, listen to me. Listen there. to me. Spins like, hey, there's like five names that have withdrawn <laughs> or like <laughs> are regions. going team. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll go fix it. And then like I had a whole bunch like, and then I made some of my list up. And then I said fixed, and you gave me a thumbs up like you saw it. <laughs> like I, I saw was that. Like, yes, you okay, fixed it. I haven't. Good I haven't to go. It. Good job. And then. Yeah, uh, so who did you replace? Who did you replace? I feel like Ex Gracie Walton right now, man. <laughs> I'm playing favorites to Tyler. Um, he was here on time. Uh, who would you replace <laughs> with Alexia? <laughs> who you got? Julia uh, Cato. Pinheiro. Oh, Pinheiro, huh? Okay. Why? She'd be, like, she'd be the oldest Masters athlete, I think, to ever qualify. Yep. <laughs> I just I put Andrew Pinero just to see what Hiller will do. That'd be good. Uh, all right, North America East. Uh, I have Bailey Rail in there. Tyler has Sydney Wells and uh, Wozni. John's over there with Brooke Wells and Amanda Barnhart. Brooke, Brooke Wells, Wells winning no. it. No, this this isn't in order of who we think is going to win. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I would like to change Shelby Neal to Haley Adams. Okay, <laughs> and let me let me go down the list now. And see so you're confident we, that we, Brooke we Wells' miss. shoulder is not going to be an issue. I think she's going to make it. Okay, there's a little bit more of a gap between semifinals and quarterfinals, right? Um. So yeah, I, I'm gonna say Haley Adams makes it in the Shelby Neal spot, and then I'm good with my list the rest of the way. Wozni, is that a just a favorite pick there, Tyler? I I legitimate. I thought she was gonna pull it off last year, and I do think she'll pull it off this year. Um, I mean, she got she got she improved like crazy last year, and I think it only like there's two there's two options when you don't make it. It's either lay down and quit, or double and get back in and she like she quadrupled and got back in um so i'm all for ashley wasney going to the games this year uh annika greer tyler and i both have her in there uh you have amanda barnhart so you have you have two athletes there john who aren't lifting maximal can't do all of the movements and they're um, games quality athletes like and not just games quality athletes like Top ten caliber. Now I'm not saying they do that, but they're top ten caliber. They have done it's, it. It's two weeks, two months out. I'm more worried about Brooke making it to semifinals. I think. 
That's probably why I don't have her in. She makes it, and, and yeah. it's a pot, and it's a pot, and that's one hundred percent a possibility. And I yeah. was basing this on it that I think that she, if she makes quarterfinals, like I think she'll be healed up enough for semifinals. Is what is what I'm looking at. But one hundred percent, she yeah. might not make. And that's why it's way too early because I'm I'm just not a hundred percent confident that she's gonna make it if something comes out that's too just hurts her shoulder or something goes wrong and she hurts you know can't do a workout completely and she's out um so yeah uh going to north america west um bailey rail um john and tyler she's she in is in the west now. i thought oh no. she was in the west last year did she move yeah, well, she's officially in the East now because she trains at Mayhem and she used her parents' I flip house flopped the that. Exemption. You, didn't, you didn't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, John. That uh, was common knowledge, John. Listen, that one's listen, on you. I cannot keep up with where these athletes are 24-7. <laughs> it was okay? a main story. <laughs> when when y'all make the games, <laughs> I will tell you how good they're going to be, the people that make the games. And I feel in a very confident fashion I feel like you can trust me over anybody of the people that make the games. <laughs> I don't know where they are currently, okay, or living or their situations. Like, wake me up when you make the games, okay? And then I will make my decisions. <laughs> Y'all move way too much. You get hurt way too much. You have babies too much. I cannot keep up too with much. They're having situation. them left and right. Eight uh, babies a year. Tyler. Really thinks highly of uh, Miss Donut <laughs> so much so that she's going to make I, it twice. I actually do think of her that much, but yeah, it's fine. Whatever, <laughs> fill her in for Bailey Rail, please. I want to defend myself just just for one second, okay? Uh, Travis on Vindicate, you're absolutely right. Brian Friend would know all of this, and I'm not going to be a dick because I know everybody thinks I'm going to be. Brian Friend would know all of this. <laughs> you're absolutely right. But when it comes to who wins what and who wins what event and what order they're going to come. And if they're in the top the, 10. At the CrossFit Games, <laughs> there is nobody better. And that all the rest of this stuff that does not matter, I don't care. Y'all can have it. I don't care. Olivia Kerstetter, you don't have her on the list. Well, he has a spot now because Bailey's not in it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great one, Spin. Uh, yeah, that's where, I would like, that's where I would like Olivia Kerstetter. Is it yeah. it's in that spot? <laughs> uh, Fusole, Chris Giles disagreeing. Um, like she's very good at everything except for top end strength. Um, yeah. She's been well, spending all of her time better. trying to get stronger. She's not going to be. In a, she's not going to finish top ten in any lift, but she doesn't have to because she's probably going to win one of the gymnastics workouts and do well on pretty much everything else that's in a semifinals type workout. I think she can squeeze herself back in like she did two years ago. So Have it'll come down to some of the programming. Like if it's super heavy, then she's probably out. But if it's one maximal type lift that she's kind of been doing, I think she has a chance of getting back in. Yeah. Uh, how is Bethany's back this year? I think it's doing better. I'm not seeing otherwise. I don't. She didn't back off on the open like she did last year. I haven't heard much out of her. Actually, pun intended. (laughs) Uh, Bernie, (laughs) with rail out, Tyler, would you uh, triple down on donut? (laughs) May take all three. Yeah. Uh, And you guys both have Danny Spiegel back in. Yeah. So many women. So many women left. That's mostly what my thought was. Was like, yeah, I kind of have to move her up. And that was kind of what I was going to before. Like we're replacing people, but it's like replacing them with nobody athletes who have been there before. Like yeah. it's not like a brand new rookie for the most part. Or the like Aston Hatfield, Hatfield. Yeah. You know, like a lot of these. Yeah, Austin's are, actually one of the only ones that are new on purpose. Yeah, right. Most of them are repeating. Uh, Patrick Clark, no Kyra. Yeah, I don't think so in this year. There's no I, women in the in the. European women, though. Uh, yes, I have a couple. We haven't, we haven't gotten there yet. I believe in Kyra. Uh, on the European women's side, uh, 
most of the same all the way through McQuaid, and then some new a new one, Jennifer Muir. Uh, John does not have her, but he has Claudia Gluck, which I am a big fan of. I just went through the list and I was like, I don't know where to put her. Uh, Rebecca Vittison, but Tyler has Andrea Solberg. Uh, the next list, I have Ella Wilkinson. Tyler has Amy Kringle. John, as you can tell by the photo up in the upper right, Sarah Sigmund's daughter going back to the games. And then uh, Tyler with, uh, what what is that, Hellman? Hellman, uh, Camilla Salmas and Hellman. So, yep. Uh, start with Claudia Gluck. John, what makes yeah. you think Claudia breaks into the games? Well, Claudia was a second, I believe. At Dubai? Yes. Right. Yeah. And everybody, like nobody really knew. And Karen Freyova was first, right? Yeah. And kind yeah. of dominating fashion. But Claudia was taking it to her the whole time. And Karen Freyova's games caliber all day, every day, like shoeing games caliber. And we were like, what the freak is this Claudia Glut girl doing, man? And like she was hanging with her rep for rep, like in almost every single workout. And She's been, she's somebody in semifinals who's come like just short a whole lot of times, yep. like two or three spots. And I just think, uh, I liked what I saw yep. at Dubai. I think she was uh, Solberg, Solberg passed her. Oh, yeah. Dubai. But that was because they had the stupid like scoring <laughs> system where Solberg had like the three best events at the very end of it. It was something stupid. I, I remember, I remember this now. Either the events were stupid or it was stupid. I don't, you didn't, you didn't like many of the events. Solberg doesn't do anything sure. for me on that. It really doesn't. I, I remember that now. I she does. That. She does for Thank Tyler. Thank you for bringing that up, that that was irrelevant for Solberg. Um, I, I don't know how Solberg snuck in there. I meant to put Vittison. I like Vittison. <laughs> yeah, dude, you messed these lists up. I don't I, know what it is. I don't know. Like, it no, is no, not no, no. what I put. I swear like, I did not you. put. My list were, were not these lists. Like, this is all on spin. <laughs> I really think this is on spin now that Tyler's having this problem yeah. too. Solberg <laughs> would be hard to just sneak in for some weird reason. Yeah, he just he, he seeded it with weird shit so we would have to defend it. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, Solberg. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. And then Sarah Sigrid's daughter is my dark horse to go back to the games. Collar believes in her, and if he believes in her, then I'm gonna I I believe in Collar. I think a lot um, of people will be rooting for but her, but not in Sarah. I facts. <laughs> I, listen, listen. I don't. I don't believe in Sarah, but uh, I and like listen. The only reason I don't is because you showed me three years of why I shouldn't. Now, <laughs> if that changes. And Kotler believes in her, so I have no reason to not think it won't change. It's enough for me to say that I think she's going to backdoor the games this year and make it back. That was the most honest way to put that ever. That's, that's um, <laughs> I, I'd like to see her go back. I just don't know if she can. I, was I, don't thinking, I don't know why I thought about this, but I, I was just thinking about John and how you're religious and thought if we were when, when Jesus got crucified and he got put in the tomb and everybody's like, he's coming back. John would be like, I ain't going to believe it. he's been dead for two days. He ain't coming back. No, dude. <laughs> and then he comes back and John's like, I was wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> no, don't don't put me in Thomas's boat, man. Uh, and he said he was coming back. I believe him. I just said I believe in that Kotler believes in her. I know. Like I if know. Jesus said, I'm coming back, man. Don't worry. I'd be like, well, bro, you're being real, like, you know, Ain't nobody vague come about back it. for me and like, dad, like, Jesus. Yeah, you gotta give me some more details. And he's like, just just wait, just wait. I would have at least waited for the three days. I would not be talking. <laughs> And then on that third day, you know, I'd be looking at that rock. Seeing <laughs> uh, I My picks for Muir and Wilkinson are based off of uh, our Irish correspondent, Pedro, with his dark horse picks. He picked both of them to make it. So he knows all of Europe. So I'm going to go with him and Fair his enough. pick. That's not that's a wise move. I, yeah. think. I will uh, defend Kringle. Uh, I, I really thought she was going to make it last year. Um, I think Dave programming helps her quite a bit because he's a little bit more volume focused. Um, and, uh, and Kringle Kringle's better at sort of enduring stuff. So, yeah. 
Well, there you have it. Our way too early qualification for the CrossFit Games. What was it feet to uh, feet to Fort Worth? Feet to Fort right. Worth. Yeah. We got to fix them better than that. Man. I can't do it. <laughs> it makes me laugh every time. I can't has Taylor, do it. Has Taylor started yet? Uh, no, Taylor's not going tonight. He moved it. Uh, uh, actually, in 20 minutes, Savon, Savon is going live to... Uh, We're just gonna get, if you didn't get enough DBE documentary from us earlier, he is going live with the full review of the Daniel Brandon documentary. Um, so, yeah. But we're gonna wrap it up with some oh, yeah, with the boys. It. He loved it, by the way. If you want a preview, he won't stop talking. He <laughs> won't on, stop John. talking about it. He will not stop talking about it in the chat. It's just, it's that, that may or may not be accurate. We'll see. Um, all right. So Wait, this he weekend, seen it. Never mind. no, it's been out an hour. Yeah, it's good. He's it's been it. out. Yeah, it's been out. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this weekend, there's a one-on-one -on -one type of competition called Reps Ahead. I don't know too much about it, but um, James Sprague did it. A few months ago um beat some yeah. guy uh it's essentially a one-on-one -on -one, you think about fit wars like it was before but it's not do a workout and who wins it's can you get so so many reps ahead in a workout um and basically call it so there's like usually seven rounds i don't know how many movements they put in it uh, i don't know if it varies but if you can get say 14 reps ahead you win and so they do like interval style, et cetera. So there's two elite matchups. The first one, Dallin Pepper versus James Sprague. I don't think we know the workouts yet. The workout, yeah, we know yeah, the it, workout. We know it's out. I have it's, no idea. Uh, bar muscle it ups and hang cleans and oh, 165 and something. Yeah, else. 40. You got to get 40 reps ahead. The intervals continue. I think it's two minutes on, one minute off or something like that. Yeah. Um, 36 double unders, six hang squat cleans at 165 slash 110 and six bar muscle ups. So who are you picking? Dallin or James Sprague? Dallin. John. too much squatting. How many squat cleans was it? Six. Every six round. squat cleans though. and six bar muscle ups? Yeah. But it's two minute AMRAPs. It's two minute AMRAPs. I am going to roll with um, Mr. Pepper. Okay. And this is going to get boring. I'm picking Dallin as well. Okay. I mean. Prove us wrong, James. You've been working on your strength. They, Go get it. They program these, and they pick these guys. And so I'm just wondering, like, what, what are they thinking that we're not thinking? Um, but then again, Dallin won <laughs> last time. Or not Dallin, Sprague. Sprague won last time when I really didn't think he was going to. I mean, he like he rope a dope the dude, whoever it was. Well, I can't ever remember. Howard Eggerman. Eggerman. Yeah. Yeah, but there, there is some strategy. Like it's okay to get down a few reps early yeah. because you got to continue on for seven rounds. Like if you mm -hmm. try to, you know, I think the problem is if you can get through one of the rounds and get the double unders and the other person is just a little bit slower or maybe gets a, a, a no rep for their toe going over the Your bar. No rep would be. <laughs> yeah. like like the double unders you could easily set yourself apart and have a huge lead that you right. just can't come back from so um, i'm going with dallin on this one i think if you sprint this you almost force the other person to sprint it because they can't let the double unders get in between you right yeah and they especially won't. especially at the near it, at the end of a cutoff of a two minute and they they won't think, but like that other person would have to sprint it too. You can't afford yeah. to just be like, oh, I'll just let them go and burn up a little bit. You know I, I mean? think it's seven. They do seven rounds or something like that, and then they go to a decision. There's some sort yeah. of round. I think, I think after seven rounds, it's who has who's so, the list. Do you have an over under on when you think it'll end, or do you think they'll go the full seven? I'll say five rounds. Five? Yeah. Do I they think, continue? They continue where they left off? Uh yeah. I am gonna say three rounds. Whew. I think if Dallin's gonna do it, he has to do it then. Yeah, the longer it goes, it's in Sprague's favor. I yeah, yeah sure. you, you say that, but like Dallin is literally the fifth fittest man in the world. I know, but I, I, you know, I'm still saying Tyler Dallin's Eggerman, gonna win. Tyler Eggerman, like James is just fitter, right? Tyler Eggerman's super fit himself, but James is just fitter. Right. James is not fitter than Dallin. And it's barbell cycling. It's not endurance. If, it's not holding paces. It's not running. Yep. If Dallin doesn't close it in three, they'll go the full distance. 
I don't no, know about that. No, I just, no. I'm, I'm going to say round three, but I don't know. Uh, on the women's side, Alexis Raptus versus Fee Sigafi. Distance okay. hard. No, it is not. Alexis <laughs> Raptus is about to clean this, this stuff. Bro, man. it's dude, like it's uh, movement distance. I disagree with Raptus you. Raptus is not super tall. Are you going with Raptus, John? Yeah. Tyler? You go first. I'm going with Fee. I think the bar muscle ups for the women will take a bigger, have a bigger role in it than the men. In what fashion? If, it, the, if you're saying because you think it's going to be hard, B is not going to beat Alexis Raptus because the bar muscle ups were hard. If you think she just moves faster, I think she'll be faster. I, 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 I think I, she'll, I think she'll be faster on the muscle ups. And if there's higher repetition on muscle ups, I think she'll do better than Alexis there's on the nine, bar muscle ups. Alexis Raptus is going to fail at six. But you're talking it's 14 minute AMRAP essentially with a, with some rest in between. Like who who won Helena? Mm. Alexis Raptus. Yeah, but didn't she? Those are fast bar muscle did. ups. Yes, that's stuff everybody can There's do. There's running. She in that, ain't though. the best runner. Yeah, she ain't the best runner, Brian. Before you say that, it ain't like she's beating freaking Tia Toomey on the run. Way better running than Fee. She's way yeah. better at running than Fee. Yeah, man, but dude, uh, I would say on the bar muscle ups. I'm gonna say Fee for a different reason. I think Double these unders? two. These two athletes, it has nothing to do with um, with athleticism. I think these two are actually really closely matched. Um, I think it's going to do with being older and like a little bit more, a little bit smarter. Um, I think if Fee is smart, she'll come out hot and hopefully make Alexis screw up chasing her and then just hold the lead. I don't think you can win this by by knockout. For either of these two, no, I think I think it's going to come. Oh, there it is. Raptus won her heat. Correcting us, uh, Raptus won her heat. Who won it overall? Jamie, Jamie, Jamie Green. Green. Jamie Green. Yeah, so She's not Jamie Green anymore, right? Jamie Simmons. Yes. Yeah, Simmons. Yeah. That guy must be from Australia or New Zealand because <laughs> she's been Jamie Green for a long time. To that guy. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I. I think that one will be closer than the Dallin versus uh, Sprague. Knockout or no knockout? Yes, knockout. Oh, wow. I'm going to say Alexis Raptus wins in round five. Okay. I'm about the same. I think five and is kind of where the make or break is. And you say Fisa Gaffi. I, 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 I buy that argument. Like the longer it goes, the better it is for Alexis Raptus on this one. You know why? Because she's freaking fitter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, John. That's good analysis. I like it. Uh, and then our last one. If it happens, Colton Mertens versus Jake German. Jake German. <laughs> I think Tyler should go first in this debate because he's got know. you know home has... home home bounds on this, right? He's already get, he's already gonna get beat up by Colton in a wrestling match. Should I? Should so does I he want to double if, down? If Colton loses this, he cannot wrestle me. <laughs> Ooh, I'll, I'll that's rest. fair. That's fair. <laughs> hey, okay. If Colton loses this, then the wrestling match is off. But if he wins, <laughs> you're allowed to punch. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll get UFC gloves and we'll go. Uh, no, just Colton gets more time to take down Tyler. Yeah. He really eats it. Yeah. My handicap gets raised. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going bourbon. Wow. <laughs> oh, 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 man. <laughs> Dude. Dang. I'm sorry for how That's wrong wild. you are. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'm on the Colton train. Iron hog. Dude, I'm not gonna bet against that man. He's, Dude, a, you know he's, what's a, he's a bad Col man. Col when Colton calls a shot, how many times does he actually nail it? 
Yeah, dude. Almost he's, every time. He's, he's a very confident player. in his. I want to know how they're going to set this match up. Like, are they going to FaceTime I each think, other? No, no, no. I think I think Jake just needs to do it. You got to say some code word so you know it's that day. And then it's recorded. Like, and then you'll just do a side by side on Spin Show. We can have mm -hmm. them both on, and then we can just do a side by side. Yeah, actually, you know I mean? guys, do that. And we've already loaded it in the Heat One app. Jake won't show up. We've already <laughs> loaded it in the Heat One app, so you can actually go make your picks. I wasn't going to tell you yet um, because the app's going to look goofy for you until we push the update, but you can actually go pick right now, um, and we'll keep it in there until they do it. So I'm do down. it, guys. I'm down for some Fit Wars. We'll host it. Heck yeah. Uh, Unless, yeah, yeah. I don't know if – you know if Savon's trying to do it? Or I don't know. I don't know. Either way, it just who needs cares? To get done. It just yeah. needs to get done. Uh, yeah. That's all that matters. Uh, that's it, guys. Uh, in ten minutes, Savon is going to share all of the Daniel Brandon documentary. Give his take on if he likes it or not. Uh, John says he loves it. I don't know if that's the case. Uh, and other than that, go check out GoWad. Get your 14 day free trial. Get more flexible. Other than that, anything else, guys? No. Over under <laughs> 10 times, Sevon says he loves it or it was amazing. Like something, like the words amazing under. and love. Over or under, under 10 times. Under. 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 Say, somebody say, in the comments, say, keep say, track. Say, <laughs> Count in the live chat. There it is. Over under 10. I love it. There it is. <laughs> Amazing slash love. Yep. Go check out Savon. Eight, <laughs> 930 Eastern, 630 Pacific. Got nine minutes. See ya.